Welcome. My name is Louise Haddon, and I'm going to be talking to you today about several different methods of using like statements in SAS. As you can see, I've been using SAS since the Earth was a primordial soup, um, and I really love SAS, and I hope that you learn to love SAS like, just like I have. How do I love SAS? Let me count the ways. There are numerous instances where like or like statements can be used in SAS, in statements and procedures, and all of them are useful. This presentation and the accompanying paper and the proceedings will walk through such uses of like as searches and joins with that smooth like operator and the not like operator, the sounds like operator, using the like condition to perform pattern matching and create variables in PROC SQL, and PROC SQL create table like. SAS produces new provides numerous time and angst-saving techniques to make the SAS programmer's life easier. Among those techniques are the ability to search and select data using SAS functions and operators in the data step and PROC SQL, the ability to join data sets at, based on matches at various levels, the ability to create variables based on selecting vari values from other variables, and the ability to create empty shells of existing data sets using SAS metadata. This paper and presentation explores how like is featured in each one of these techniques and is suitable for all SAS practitioners. I hope that like will become part of your SAS toolbox too. SAS operators are used to perform a number of functions, arithmetic calculations, comparing or selecting variable values or logical operations. Operators are loosely grouped as prefix, for example, assign before a variable, or infix, which generally perform an operation between two variables. Arithmetic operations using SAS operators may include exponentiation, multiplication, and addition, among others. Comparison operators may include greater than and equals, among others. Logical or Boolean operators, such as operands as uh, the double bars or double uh, exclamation points, and an or, and serve the purpose of grouping SAS operations. Some operations that are performed by SAS operators have been formalized in functions. A good example of this is the concatenation operators, the double bars and the double exclamation points, and the more powerful cat function, which performs similar but not identical operations. Like operators are most frequently utilized in the data step and the PROC SQL via a data step. Smooth operators. Smooth operators um, there's a category of SAS operators that act as comparison operators under special circumstances, generally in where statements in practice SQL and the data step and DS2, and subsetting if statements in the data step. These operators include the like operator and the sounds like operator, as well as the contains and SAM and operators. It's beyond the scope of this short paper and presentation to discuss all of the smooth operators, they are definitely worth a look. Character operators are frequently used for pattern matching, that is, evaluating whether a variable value equals, does not equal, sounds like a specified value or pattern. The like operator is a case sensitive character operator that employs two special wildcard characters to specify a pattern. The percent sign indicates any number of characters in a pattern, while the underscore indicates the presence of a single character per underscore in a pattern. The like operator is akin to the grep utility available on Unix and Linux systems in terms of its ability 
to search strings with wildcards. Um, other functions, such as the PRX functions, the pro-regular expressions in SAS, also uh, perform this function. Given a table of boys' names, you can see that we have six names here. Um, the first character is either T or B, and the second character is always R, um, and there are varying lengths. So we're going to walk through some um, uses of examples of usage um, of the like operator. So as you can see, um, the first um, example has um, like uh, TR underscore underscore. That will return everything that begins with TR and has um, uh, four letters in it. Um, in the second example, uh, like TRO um, with a percent sign uh, returns anything that begins with TRO um, and has either um, any number of characters following that TRE. So that will return uh, Troy and Troy with an E, um, which um, are four and five characters um, respectively. Like TRY percent sign P uh, returns twist um, if there were any number of um, characters in between the Y and the T um, that would be returned. And like underscore R um, percent sign returns all six um, lists, all six names in the list uh, because the underscore is a single character um, and everything began with either B or T, a single character, um, second letter R, and then um, after that, um, any, num any characters uh, are returned by the percent sign. Um, like TR underscore 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 will return all five letter names. The like operator, which we just described and um, went through some examples of, searches the actual spelling of operands to make a comparison. The sounds like operator uses phonetic value to determine whether character strings match a given pattern. As with the like operator, the sounds like operator is useful for when there are misspellings and similar sounding names in a string to be compared. The sounds like operator is denoted with a shortcut, uh, equal star, and it must be used in a where statement um, in the data step. Sounds like is based on SAS's Soundex algorithm. Strings are encoded by retaining the original first column, stripping all letters that are or act as vowels, A, E, H, I, O, U, W, Y, and then assigning numbers um, to groups of letters. So one equals B, F, P, and V. Two includes C, G, J, K, Q, S, X, and Z. Three includes D and T. Four includes L. Five includes M and N. And six includes R. As we'll see on the next um, slide, um, Tristan uh, therefore becomes T6235, as does Tristan, Tristan, Tristian, and Tristan. And here is an example of that. Um, the link on the page uh, will get you to more information on the sounds like operator. Um, this is also in the paper in the proceedings. So we'll go through a couple of examples of this. Um, and looking at Tristan, uh, the first character is T, so we say that. Um, then we move all the vowels and in um, letters that act as vowels, like W and Y. 
Um, and then the second character is six uh, because um, R is equals six. Uh, the third character is two. The fourth character is three. And the fifth character is five. Looking at triple, the first character is T. We remove all the vowels and we get T-R-B-B-L. The second character is six. The third character is one. And the fourth character is four. Okay, wait. Weren't there five characters in the string once we remove the vowels? There's a side-by-side -side rule um, in Soundex that converts two letters of the same group, one to six, to a single letter. This makes sense. When you listen to triple, you only hear one B. But wait, what about pink sync? We remove the vowels, we get pink zinc uh, with no eyes. Uh, the first character is P, the second character is five, the third character is two, the fourth character is two, the fifth character is five, and the sixth character is two. That's because that's a compound word. There is a space there. You ignore the blank, except in the instance of two um, of the same letter group that are separated by a blank. And that also makes sense when you, when you think about how pink think sounds, because the K and the Z are very distinct. So now we're going to talk about joins with the like operator. In the first example here, we're selecting records with um, a like operator in ProcSQL with a where statement. So the code that we're showing on the screen right now selects records from the sashelp.zip code file that are in the state of Massachusetts and are for a city that begins with SPR. Note that I'm using the upcase function here to standardize my uh, my variable that I'm using um, performing the like um, condition on. And the reason for that is the like um, operator is case sensitive um, and you don't necessarily know what your variable is. So it's easiest to standardize anything that you're using um, the like um, condition on. It just makes your life a little bit easier. And this results um, in a uh, data set that only has cases um, with the city, Springfield, um, and some various um, geographic identifiers. The code here joins sashelp.zip um, code with itself. Um, with a renamed key column. And this is just to demonstrate that you can actually perform joins with a wildcard um, using um, the like operator. Uh, and what this does is just it's taking some different variables from uh, the two different tables um, and joining them based on where a city um, has the same name, uh, but um, and then just selecting SPR um, with the wildcard percent sign. So anything that starts with SPR um, and, and the state of Massachusetts. Um, and, and because it's grabbing the two different city names uh, from the two, potentially two different files, in this case it's the same file, um, are um, equivalent. So I think you can see the possibilities of uh, performing a, a wildcard uh, join um, with this, and um, it's really a, a very useful technique. And as you can see, uh, we've grabbed um, some different information uh, from 
joining the two similar files together um, and um, producing a, a, a union. So, like condition. Um, the like operator is sometimes referred to as a condition, generally in reference to character comparisons where the prefix of a string is specified in a search, like conditions are restricted to the data step as the colon modifier is not supported in PROC SQL. The syntax for the like condition is where first name equals colon and then um, the starting part of a, um, of a, a the starting part of um, the variable. The statement would select all first names in the table that we saw above and uh, to accomplish the same goal in PROC SQL, the like operator can be used with a trailing um, percent sign in a where statement. Now we're going to talk about um, using PROC SQL in conjunction with the case when statement and the like operator to create variables. Um, the code that I'm going to show you feature using the like op operator with OR operators and case when to create um, two types of variables. Um, this uh, variable on this screen um, is uh, creating a, a categorical variable uh, with values such as cancer diagnosis or arthritis diagnosis by using a uh, case when um, like uh, 14. So I'm specifying that DX codes beginning with certain strings are coded as specific diagnosis groups in a categorical variable um, DX type. This is really handy, especially when you're using uh, very large um, data sets, uh, such as claims data, um, data sets with billions of records. Um, this is a very efficient way of sorting through and grabbing um, the diagnosis codes um, and categorizing them. In this case, I'm using the like operator um, to create a binary variable. Um, and in this case, I start, you know, variables starting with uh, either, um, these are diagnosis codes that are ICD-9 and ICD-10. Um, so if I encounter uh, any uh, diagnosis codes uh, starting with this, um, it's going to trigger a binary um, one value in a variable called overdose. Um, and again, this is a really handy technique to use when you are dealing with uh, huge data sets um, and just creating an, an easy binary. So note that um, I, uh, these are not complete examples. I'm just doing this a very simplistic example to show the technique. Um, so the code snippet is for demonstration purposes only. Um, you're well, welcome to contact me if you would like a uh, fuller code. Talk about PROC SQL, create table like. There are several methods of creating an empty data set. PROC SQL, create table like, is one of the most efficient ones when creating a shell from an existing data set is it automatically uses the metadata from the existing SAS data set. The code below um, is, shows, takes advantage of the fact that options create, um, options deal create here enables the creation of a library or folder if one does not already exist. Um, DL create here is benign and does not overwrite existing folders or data within those folders. Um, and the create table um, like method is not benign and will overwrite an existing data set. So the program snippet that I'll show you uses conditional logic and sysfunc to determine if the file to be written already exists and does not overwrite the file, instead produces an 
error note in the log if it already exists. So, um, as I said, options DL create there allows the creation of a physical SAS library if one does not already exist. Uh, so, uh, right there, the previous, uh, we have the base, and then I'm able to create um, uh, folders for uh, the previous and new annual um, data set. So the um, option DL create here is a default on Unix and Linux systems, but not on a Windows system. Um, and you may not have access to it on a secure system at all, but um, it's a really handy option and I encourage um, folks to take a look at that. So um, if, uh, here's the conditional code. If the um, file exists, you can just want to tell whether the file exists. Um, and then if the file doesn't exist, we're gonna create the empty table with metadata from the existing table. As you can see, it's create table like the previous um, table um, and then I'm just describing it to make sure that everything uh, worked correctly. Um, and then you see um, the else do, um, I'm gonna put an error um, in, if the file already exists, it's not gonna overwrite it and it's just gonna notify uh, me in the log. Um, and something to note here is that as of um, the later versions of SAS, uh, you can have um, open um, conditional code um, in your in your programs, um, and this is an ex example of using that. So, in conclusion, I think we've definitely demonstrated the utility of like in SAS programming, um, and um, I encourage you to add the various capabilities of like to your repertoire. Uh, like the smooth like operator and condition um, in both data step and SQ, POC SQL, the sounds like operator in the data step, case when like in PROC SQL, and create table like in PROC SQL. There's definitely a lot of reasons to like like in SAS programming. Thank you for listening.